As if the fight against heroin wasn't enough for our community, the Butler County Sheriff now says there are certain drugs making a comeback. And these drugs are especially attractive to addicts who are on court ordered opioid blocking treatments like Vivitrol. Nine on your side's Butler and Warren County reporter Jay Warren explains. As law enforcement continues the battle against heroin, the Butler County Sheriff's Office says we're actually seeing a resurgence of two drugs that we're long familiar with cocaine and meth. It was here on Wife Court in Fairfield that Butler County Sheriff Richard Jones says Adam Gayhart had a large-scale drug operation. Officers with the Burn Drug Task Force seized more than a pound of cocaine, three loaded handguns, and more than a thousand in cash. What we see here is a major dealer with the amount that this individual has. Um, he's looking at a minimum of 11 years in prison. He's looking at a lot of time. But what the sheriff says is a new wrinkle is the cocaine. With heroin all over the streets, users who get picked up are now court ordered to use Vivitrol. The heroin users that are on this Vivitrol, uh, by either court order or when they leave jail, what that does if you're a heroin addict, the court's ordered or you volunteer to do this, it'll make you sick if you shoot heroin. So Sheriff Jones says that instead of heroin, drug users are just going back to other drugs. What the heroin users are doing, because they don't want to be sick and they want to skirt around it, they're using cocaine. So naturally, cocaine sales go up. The sheriff says the seemingly never-ending war will be won with arrests of alleged dealers like Gayhart and stiff prison terms. I don't care what you sell. If it's an illegal drug or a substance and you're selling poison in Butler County, you're going to have to deal with the sheriff. So in addition to the heroin, we're once again seeing the meth as well as cocaine. The sheriff's office says they're right in the middle of the battle. Jay Warren, 9 on your side, Hamilton.